Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Pinney, and in this video, I will review the various ways that an Achilles tendon rupture can be treated. An Achilles tendon rupture is a frustrating injury. However, successful treatment can usually be achieved either conservatively without surgery or with surgery. There are advantages and disadvantages to both approaches. Unfortunately, a ruptured Achilles typically takes a long time to fully recover from, regardless of how it's treated. To walk and run normally after suffering an Achilles tendon rupture requires the tendon itself to heal solidly to the point where it can withstand forces that are many times body weight. In addition, it's essential that strength is regained in the calf and lower extremity muscles. Considerable strength is lost during the initial healing period when the activities are markedly limited and these muscles are not used very much. Regardless of whether the Achilles tendon rupture is treated operatively or non-operatively, the initial treatment should include a period of non-weight bearing with crutches and immobilization of the lower leg with the foot pointing downwards. This is done to bring the tendon ends together and prevent a gap from forming at the site of the tendon rupture. Elevating the leg to limit swelling will also be beneficial. If the Achilles rupture is ignored or not diagnosed, the symptoms of pain may resolve fairly quickly, but the patient will be left with profound weakness and dysfunction, which will usually require salvage surgery at a later date. Therefore, Active early treatment of the rupture must be carried out, although this treatment can be conservative or surgical. Let's discuss conservative or non-surgical treatment of Achilles tendon ruptures. The advantage of treating an Achilles tendon rupture non-operatively is that surgery is avoided and excellent results can be achieved. Results that for most patients are equivalent to treating the tendon ruptured surgically. Without surgery, the risk of a surgical complication, such as an infection or wound healing issue, is avoided. This is a big advantage because a post-operative wound complication, although uncommon, can be disastrous. The disadvantage of non-operative treatment compared to surgical treatment is that the recovery time will be somewhat slower and the potential for a re-rupture at a later date may be higher. What about operative treatment of Achilles tendon ruptures? First, it should be noted that operative treatment includes either a traditional open surgery or a smaller mini open incision. Both can work well. The advantage of treating an Achilles rupture surgically is that a solid repair can be obtained and this may allow for a more aggressive rehabilitation protocol during the early part of the recovery period. However, the disadvantage of surgery is the potential for an infection or wound healing issue, which as I previously mentioned, is a potentially devastating complication. In general, the infection rates following a surgical repair are low, although it increases as patients get older and in smokers and patients who are diabetic. The rate of wound complication is usually lower if a mini open surgical repair is performed although there seems to be a higher rate of local nerve injuries with this procedure, and in some instances the repair may not be as strong. Regardless of whether an Achilles rupture is treated with or without surgery, a coordinated and comprehensive rehabilitation program is essential. This requires the balancing of getting the muscles and tendons moving early so that strength loss is minimized, versus doing too much activity too soon, which can cause the tendon repair to fail or stretch out. In summary, Achilles tendon ruptures are a frustrating injury. Initial treatment must focus on limiting any loading through the injured area. Definitive treatment can be non-operative or surgical. Excellent results can be achieved with both approaches, although each have advantages and disadvantages. Regardless of the definitive treatment, a coordinated, comprehensive, post-operative rehabilitation program is essential. For more information on this type of rehabilitation strategy, click on the link below. 
Wishing you good foot health. I'm Dr. Steve Penny. Thank you.